Anything on your screen, Loki? Mm, no, sir. All quiet. Anything show up on your screen, Paul? No, sir. All quiet. Good. Laura? Not a thing, Commander. Academy Control, this is the Seeker. Commander Gamble calling. Academy Control here, Commander. Chris, how are they coming with a defensive shield? Well, repairs should be completed in about 30 minutes, Commander. Maybe less. That's fine. Most of us don't mind watching out for meteors. But some of us do get a bit restless. Now then, the period of monotony will soon be a thing of the past. If you need me, I'll be in engineering, which has been temporarily converted into my, um, my captain's lounge. Rank does have its privileges, you know. Oh, yeah. Would you stop it, Loki? Don't you like it? Well, it's not exactly the music of the spheres. It's not even music. An instrument of torture, that's what it is. Now, Loki, you get that Lyratron out of sight and concentrate on Sector 5. I watch and watch, but nothing happens. Watch. See anything? Quiet. All systems green. The patrol ships will spot anything before it gets in this close. Oh, I hope. Meteor! What? Where did it come from? Sector 5! Why? That's where the seeker is. Sound alert. Base of action. 45 degrees right. It's too late, Chris. It's coming right for us. It's gonna hit us dead on. Welcome to man's most magnificent achievement in the conquest of space. The man-made planetoid, Space Academy. Founded in the star year 3732. Here we have gathered young people from the farthest reaches of all the known worlds. They have been chosen for their unique abilities and are being trained to cope with the mysterious, the unknown, the unpredictable dangers lurking in the vast darkness of space. Seeker, go ahead, Chris. Meteor, Sector 5. It's past the safety limit. It's on a direct collision course with the Academy. You have two minutes and ten seconds to intercept. Oracle, we'll get back to you. Hitting full power. Sector 5, that's us. How did it get by? Loki, get Commander Gampu. Commander Gampu, meteor past safe limit. It's on a collision course with the Academy. Boss. How much time do we have before collision? We have one minute, 47 seconds to intercept Meteor. That's not enough time for us to catch up to it. Arm the spinner pole. We're on full power, Commander, but at this distance, there's no guarantee that we can hit it. We have no choice. Compute the course, people. I wish we had more time to get closer for a sure shot. Well, people, it's up to you. Come on, please be right. Wait for the light pole. Now, spinner one away. It missed. Barely time for one more. Peepo? Correcting course. One degree right. My last shot. It's now or never. I want you to know that I love you. Such flattery will short-circuit his power packs. <laughs> now then, 
How did all this come about? It could have been me, Commander. I'm not sure. I just looked away for a second. Sometimes that's all it takes, Loki. I understand now. Thanks, people. <laughs> but that doesn't mean I love you. All right, back to your stations, everyone. Paul, continue patrol. Oracles, sir. Let's see how they're doing at the Academy. Chris, come in, Chris. Chris? Academy Control. Come in, Academy Control. Probably space dust from the meteor blast is interfering. Well, let me try Mind Link with Chris. Sally, Laura, head back to the Academy, Paul. Squeeze out all the power you can. Oracle. This is the Seeker. Come in, Academy. This is the Seeker. Do you read me? Anything? Still nothing. Well, we'll find out what's going on soon enough. We're almost there. Making terminal descent. Computers locked on. Activate docking area. They haven't opened the doors. Academy, come in. This is the Seeker standing by. Gambo, I can't raise anyone. People, the auto lock frequency is somewhere around 147. Find it. I am scanning. Frequency 1403 megahertz. Activating. Well done, people. outside the control room. Come, Paul. Laura! What is it, Loki? I thought I saw something move. There, there is, is nothing. nothing. Not now, but there was. Imagination! Don't try to confuse me, people. I know what I saw. Maybe he did, people. His sight has more range than ours. Okay, let's keep alert and stay together. We don't know what we may be walking into. No one in there. Commander? I don't get it. The entire place is deserted? So it would seem. Ask Laura if she's found anything. Laura? Paul here. Did you find anything? Nothing, Paul. Not even a trace. Same here. Keep looking. Oracle. What do you think, Commander? I think we have to face it, Paul. There's no one left in the Academy. Whatever the reason, they've simply vanished. Control room, Loki. I'll go see if the commander and Paul have found anyone. Commander, I know it may be hopeless, but I'm going to take another look in cold storage. Good idea, Paul. Plenty of freeze dried foods? No people.
Commander? Uh, Commander? What's the matter, Hall? Gampo was standing right here with me. When I turned back, he was gone. Well, he must be in the control room. Did the commander come in here, Loki? No. Is he missing, too? I'm afraid so. Paul, what's going on? I wish I knew. There seems to be nobody here but us. Gampoo, Chris, Tegar, where are you? Easy, Laura. If we're going to solve this mystery, we need to stay calm. Laura, you all right? Yeah. Yes, I, I, I just felt a little faint. Look! Uh -oh. Ghosts! Ghosts are figments of imagination. They do not exist in reality. I hope. Something made that cup move. It wasn't one of your magic tricks, huh, Paul? Mm -mm. But Loki's right. Something or somebody made it move. Maybe. Just maybe. Well, just before the water started, I was thinking about it. So? Well, maybe nothing, but let me try something. Like what? Camelopardus! It's okay, Loki. I'm doing it. It's called telekinesis. <laughs> Moving things with your mind? I didn't know you could do that alone. I thought you had to mind link with Chris. Well, that's the point. I do. Some connection with the meteor we destroyed. That explosion sure put on a terrific show. That's right. I never saw an explosion like that before. It was unusual. If we had some of those meteor bits, we could have people analyze them and tell us something. Right, people? I will require a minimum quantity of 30 grams of meteor bits to make an analysis. Oh, forget it. That spinner blasted the meteor into, into space dust. It's scattered all over the galaxy. Oh, Paul, there's got to be a way. Now think, Paul. I've got it. Loki. Me? Your eyes. You can see infrared light with your eyes. Meteor bits. They could still be hot from the blast. The Seeker went right through them. Loki can find them by looking for hot spots with his infrared sight. You think you can do that, Loki? I can sure try. Then what are we waiting for? Come on, Loki, we're going dust hunting. How are you doing, Loki? Just another minute, Paul. People, what do you think could have sent that message? Do you think it could have been Chris or Gampoo? It is possible, Laura, but... But what, people? Nothing. What is it? Whoever sent that was not strong enough to complete it. He must be growing very weak. Paul? This is Laura. Do you read me? Go ahead, Laura. How much longer, Paul? There's no way to know. Loki's doing the best he can. Please hurry, please. Easy, Laura. How's it coming, Loki? The dust is awfully small. Well, I think that should do it. Laura! People, it's Chris. I know it's Chris. Could be, Laura, but I'm afraid there's a new problem. What is it, people? The pulsation on the writing was too rapid. His molecular count is dangerously fast and getting faster. How do we slow it down, people? 
I don't know. Well, think, people, think. Wait a minute. Cold, freezing can slow down the process. If there was some way we could reduce the temperature. I have an idea. Out, Loki. Just a few more, Paul. I think there's one over here. Yeah, here's one. And here's another. Well, I guess that should do it. It's up to people now. All right, Paul, give me a lift down. Paul? Paul! Too late. Put it inside. Hurry, Laura. Then switch the computer to spectrograph. Loki, you punch it up while I finish pouring. Oracle. I thought I'd never get back. You have no idea how I missed you, little sister. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you. Welcome home, Commander, Laura, Chris, and everyone else. I'm even glad to see you, Loki. People, we are eternally in your debt. I will remember that, Commander. I'm sure you will. And I'll go work your magic on the other levels, if you please. When you're through, Teagar will give you a nice warm oil bath. On you go. Come on, people, let's go. Laura, using that freezer was a brilliant idea. But now, would you uh, mind shutting it off? Commander? I'll warm you up. Oh, Camelopardus. <laughs> <laughs> 
Attention, please. In order to cook, commem commem commemorate. Uh, thank you. In order to commemorate the day Space Academy lost and found its student body, I have made up a special tune on my Liratron. Whee! 